Okay, up for auction is a yellow porcelain Xeno chewing gum machine. This is a beautiful machine, beautiful cabinet. No touch up whatsoever on it. Very little damage to it, mostly around the edges and around where the lock is. Everything else seems to be factory faults of the machine. Like there's a little bit of indentation right around here or by the Y and by the E and then down here by the L and by the M. Uh, it feels like it's warped because of when they uh, spot welded on the bracket inside that holds this piece of glass in there. feels like maybe they got it too hot, but then they just porcelained it anyway. Because it, it looks completely original and I, I don't see how anything could have caused that kind of a damage without hurting the porcelain more. Uh, the machine works. Uh, it does not work all the time, but these probably didn't work all the time when they were brand new. Uh, we've put several pieces of gum in there, so all you have to do is put a penny in the side. It'll activate the mechanism and uh, hopefully spit out the piece of gum. It didn't spit out the piece of gum that time, probably because the gum isn't the correct size. It's just some thin stuff that doesn't have the paper on it. I believe you need to have it paper wrapped when you put it in there. So what I'll do next is I will open up the machine and I'll show you a little bit more about it. This is a number seven pulver lock that is in the machine. It is not an original Zeno lock. There goes the mechanism and there's the piece of gum. I guess it jammed up on the piece of gum because it's not the correct thickness. Anyway, I will show you the inside. We put a number seven pulver lock on there which works just fine for it. Uh, as you can see there's a little bit of damage chipping around where the lock is, but that is the majority of the damage on the cabinet other than these, you know, small chips here and there along the edge. The sides are beautiful. A lot of gloss to them. Same with the front. Beautiful cabinet. There's the other side. Now, problem with these machines is they made a lot of the parts out of pot metal, so they ended up breaking a lot of the time, especially this chute right here. Very, very delicate piece. Now, this piece is completely intact, so this is a, a rare find when you're looking for these yellow porcelain Xenos. So that is the easiest part to break on this machine. So there's the, uh, the original back door for it. Um, there's the coin drop, like I said. There's the gum chute, original. There's gum inside there with a little weight on top of it. And here's the mechanism right here, which when a penny drops in, it activates and pushes the gum out. And then it shuts off again right there. And there's the piece of gum. Show you the top. Beautiful. There's the bottom, it's got one chip right there. Most likely from over the years the vendors putting it on, down on the counter on the floor when they were servicing or collecting the machine. So, uh, once again, easy operation of the machine. Put a penny in, drops down the chute, drops into this little holder right there. Weight goes up, drops a piece of gum, and locks up again. There's a piece of gum. Everything is original to the machine on this except for the lock. And there's a bushing right here uh, that we had to replace. So, but other than that, everything appears to be completely original to the machine. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please give us a call or message us. Thank you.